Welcome to this edition of Chalk Talk. Hi, I'm Wolf Wygo. Today we're talking about 6 on 5 offense. Uh, we've talked a little bit about systems of a 3-3 three, three, and a 4-2. And if you talk to a lot of coaches and you ask them what they run on 6 on 5, do you run a 4-2, do you run a 3-3, three, three, a lot of people sort of see that as a static decision where I'm running a 3-3 three, three and that's sort of it. And maybe I'll run one play where one player will drive in and clearly go into a 4-2 immediately. So, um, or you'll have a 4-2 where you'll have one player wrap up from the wings and, and then it'll turn into a 3-3 three, three pretty clearly. For me, the most interesting thing about the 6-on-5 is sort of um, going back and forth between a 4-2 and a 3-3, three, three, really making the defense uncomfortable They've got to communicate, they've got to talk, hey, they're twitching to a 3-3. Three, three. Do all the players on defense know exactly what their roles are um, for a 4-2 and a 3-3? Three, three. And something that can, that can shift um, it not so obviously. So typically on a 3-3, three, three, um, what, what teams will do on the most fundamental level is they'll either swim one player into the post and then they'll be in a 4-2. Or they'll swim this player in, this player will come down, and they'll be in a 4-2, and it's pretty clear to the defense. Um, for me, if I'm playing on defense and the team's in a 3-3, and then, oh, boom, now they're in a 4-2, and I know exactly what I'm going to do, that makes it a lot easier for me on the defensive end. If it's sort of a slow or um, where you're not really sure, is this a 3-3, is this a 4-2, what's the defense, I don't know what's going on, um, that, that's when I think you can really, really confuse the defense. So let's say we're in a 4-2. Right? And we can take, take the ball in a little bit at six, throw the ball over, and we've, we've rotated up to here. And now we're, we're, we're sort of in a 3 3, but we're not in a 3 3 because this player's not over here, this player's not quite center yet. And as we're passing the ball, then this player can start to slide a little bit, this player can start to come middle a little bit, and we're, we're sort of slowly rotating into a 3 3 but maybe the defense isn't totally aware of it. And what will happen here is that sometimes a player will get left wide open in the middle of the pool because the team hasn't sort of communicated correctly or reacted. Okay, so, and if nothing gets out, nothing comes out of that, then you can come back, this player can drive down, but there's a lot of options you can do. So simply off of a six in uh, scenario on six on five, you can, do, you can go through a, a number of options where this player will take the ball in and you can have where these players come over, this player can pop, okay, so this player will stay down on the two meter line, this player will come center, this player is wide, and then you're, you're, you're almost getting into a 3-3 three, three. and you can decide whether this player will come middle and this player will stay out, okay, or you can, you can slide the player along the two meter line. So again, we'll take six in, okay, and then this time this player will slide, this player will come up in the pocket, this player will slide out along the bottom line, and you pretty much get into the same system, but just with a different look. And um, when you do things differently, that can create problems for other teams on the defense where they haven't seen it before. All it takes is one player to panic, make a wrong decision, and you can get a nice easy goal.